Hi, welcome to Progressive Goalkeeping Home Training Video. So this program is targeted at players that are 10 to 12 years old. So we're going to focus on some coordination, some agility, um, and we're going to mostly focus on high balls. So the movements and things are required that are going to help you with your high balls. All right. So to start with, we're going to start with some stabilization. So we're going to do a one leg squat. All right. And then we're going to focus on a one leg calf raise. Now, the idea of these is to not do them quickly. Um, if you need a wall to help you stabilize and, and help you to balance, then please do so. Okay, so the idea is when you're doing your one leg squat, you want to go down, you want to go down nice and slowly. So you want to count to three and then sort of come up a little bit quickly. So you want to sort of try and work that. So it's that, it's that quick up. So you want to load, all right, just get that flexibility and movement within your legs. With your calf raises, same thing. You can go quickly up, and then so the idea is you're up onto your toes, okay? And it takes you should take you three seconds to get your heel down towards the ground. The idea is again use a wall, use something to help you stabilize. Uh, make sure your technique is right first, rather than trying to do too many. These numbers are a guide, um, and so if you need to do what you can. All right, and build up into it with what you feel comfortable with. And every each, each individual is going to be different. So you're going to start with your leg. You're going to bend your one knee. And then what you're going to do is just nice and easy. You're just going to squat. Make sure you're nice and stabilized as you're going down. Okay. Try not to put your foot, the opposite foot on the ground. If you need to, you can. All right, keep yourself nice and balanced. Make sure you're doing both legs. Now this is working on your stabilization and helping your ankles, all right? And your ankles are really important, okay? So you should be working on your quads um, and your ankle stabilization as well. So if you're doing the calf raises, you're going up. So you're going right up onto the balls of your feet, okay? And you're going nice and slow down, all right? It's all controlled, okay? So now we're going to get into the agility. So the idea is with the agility is you're going to set out a square. You don't need a big area for this. So we set out a square by three meters by three meters. All right, or something similar to. So it's all about explosion, explosion, um, you know, and first movement and exploding off the mark. All right. So your first movement is going to be what we call the Zorro. So it's you're moving lateral between the cones and then going diagonal and then going lateral and then running straight back. Okay, so you'll see from the video. All right, and then the next one is going to be a sprint forward and a jog recovery back. So you're working on that sprint forward and that first step to really accelerate and get as much power in that first step as you can and being able to get balanced. All right, so as you can see, you've got the grid, so you're moving lateral. Now from here, because you're moving to your left, you're going to use your left foot to accelerate, bang, you're going to go across there, balance, and then go backwards and go sideways. So you're working on your change of direction and your first step going direct to where you need to go. So you go across, you go back. So each time you go forward, you should be going from the opposite side, okay? Going there, back, all right? So you've been able to change direction, it's, and it's all about being balanced and working on that first step. So the next one is going forward. So it's a sprint forward. So again, you're focusing on that first step, get set, and it's a nice, easy recovery back. You then get set there. You then accelerate again, okay? With the high balls, you're gonna start with the ball in your hand. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna create like a V movement. So when you're, you're gonna start, hold the ball around chest to head height. When you're going to your right, you're gonna use your right step as your first movement. When you're going to your left, you're going to use your left foot as your first movement, okay? And the idea is you're going to work and you're going to explode off the mark and then you're going to jump in and pretend you're going to, as if you were taking a high ball, all right, whether it's a cross or a long through ball. You then jog back to where you started, going running backwards, so you're always still facing forward, and then you go out the other side. So it creates like a V shape in what you're doing. Once you've done that, you're then going to work into having using a ball and you're going to throw the ball so if you're not confident in bouncing it you can throw the ball in front and you're going to run forward and jump into it if you're going to your right you're going to lift your left leg and if you're going to your left you're going to lift your right leg okay 
So the idea is you're lifting the leg on the inside. If you can get someone to throw you the ball, brilliant. If not, you can serve it yourself. All right, so you can still practice. So we do it with, with the ball in hand and keeping that ball up in front. So we've got the W shape with the hands. We're driving forward. So we're working on driving through the ball. Okay, so it's that first step. So it's there. And then we're going to work on serving. Okay, so we're going to work on serving the ball. Okay, so you can bounce it. All right, so if you're bouncing it, you're looking to attack the ball where you can at the earliest possible point. Okay, so you judge it. All right, it's all about meeting the ball, earliest possible point, and making sure we're driving through the ball. So we have contact and we still keep our momentum forward. You can throw it up to give yourself a bit of difference. You can throw it up and let it bounce and then attack it. So it means you have to hold your run and then look to attack the ball. All right, once the ball bounces, all right, which provides a different bit of judgment, but also teaches you to hold your run. I hope this works for you at home. Make sure you stay tuned uh, for further videos. Check out our uh, social media, Instagram, uh, Progressive Goalkeeping and Facebook pages. And also check out our YouTube, uh, Progressive Goalkeeping and our website, progressivegoalkeeping.com. Take care and we look forward to seeing you soon.